Hello Wanderers, we are in Siem Reap, Cambodia with Avalon Waterways. It is day one of our trip and we are starting big with a tour of Angkor Wat. To get into the Temple of Angkor Wat, we join thousands of other visitors on the 10 minute walk through the hot Cambodian sun before passing through the outer gallery to find the temple's iconic towers looming above. Inside, almost every surface of the temple speaks of the Khmer Empire, with carvings depicting everything from Apsara dancers to the history of battles. Moving deeper into the complex, we realize that Angkor Wat, built in the 12th century, is still a functioning temple today. Although it was originally constructed as a Hindu temple, Angkor Wat transitioned into a Buddhist temple as the religion spread through Cambodia. Today, people come to worship and receive blessings from monks. At the heart of the temple of Angkor Wat are the five towers. You can take the stairs up into one if you have the time to wait in line. If not, there's still much to explore in this city temple. Once more across the bridge and we are on to our next destination. So we're at our second stop of the day, Bantie Sere. Bantie Sere means city of women and this temple is cherished because of its intricate carvings. Let's go take a look. Having an immediate comparison between this and Angkor Wat, it's uh, Angkor Wat has, is much more powerful and intimidating and large, but this is much more serene and intricate and uh, just, in my opinion, it's more beautiful, more fascinating. There are more little things to look at, little details to see. Built nearly 200 years before Angkor Wat, Bantie Sere is remarkably well preserved. It is known for its pink sandstone and beautiful ornamentation. There is a sense of quiet, of tranquility at Bantier Sere. So as you can tell, it's pretty hot in Cambodia and we are sweating buckets. And you know, we've been in the sun all day. And we've been putting sunscreen on, especially on our feet. And I realized, oh my goodness, my feet are getting so tan. I don't tan. And then Ryan took the uh, little napkin and well, see that? That is Cambodian clay dust. Time for lunch. We're gonna try some traditional Cambodian dishes here at the Gray Restaurant. Deep fried shrimp cake, palm heart salad, lemongrass chicken, and fried banana for dessert. Before the evening's festivities, we have some time back at our hotel. After a long day in the hot sun, it is so nice to come back to the pool and cool off. Time to shower off for dinner. Tonight, Avalon Waterways is treating us to a private dining experience. The restaurant we are in is called La Tradition de Encore. And during the dinner and afterward, we'll also be treated to a Apsara dance performance. Folk dances tell stories of Cambodia's rich culture, most notably the Apsara dance. Dancers personify the mythological Apsara, a nymph-like race who danced for the gods. Each movement of their flexible hands and feet has a meaning, representing elements from nature such as flowers, fruits, and leaves. Well, we've come to the end of day one, and what a day it was. 
gorgeous temples, delicious food, and wonderful entertainment to top it off. Be sure to come back and watch day two where we're visiting a temple that you may have seen on the big screen. We'll see you there, Wanderers!